storytelling and having a story told to you is all about empathy. It's all about sharing the human experience. And when women share these stories, and when women participate in each other's experiences, cements us together once it's been told to you from the depths of their story. Hi, my name is Brianna Mathis. Hello, I'm Shikim Holland. Hi, I'm Bailey Merritt. Hi, my name is Maggie Todd. This, I'm an English major, and I'm an English major. I am an English and screenwriting major. And I'm dressed as Talia Grace from the Percy Jackson series. And I'm dressed as Minerva from In the Time of the Butterflies. Um, and I am dressed up as Miss Virgie Rainey from The Golden Apples by Eudora Welty. And I'm dressed as Nancy Drew from the Nancy Drew novels. Can you tell me why you are an English major? <laughs> Why am I not an English major? Because I spent my time inside of the libraries. Then I learned that I could use the words to express myself in my own way. And there was a lot of back and forth with, well, do I have to give up my dream of being an actor? Do I have to give up my dream of working in film and working in theater? Because I do love it. And then it just kind of clicked for me my junior year where I was just like, you know what? Why can't I do both? I love writing. I love reading. I love reading what I've written and writing stuff that I've read. I love writing essays and analyzing things and reading subtext and just finding symbolism. And I love literary theory. I just love everything about English. It's the only major for me. <laughs> and why is Talia an important character to you? Talia is an important character to me because she's very independent, but she's very caring. She's that nice mix between being strong and being compassionate. Minerva was important to me because she was a part of four sisters who um, fought the regime during the time of the revolution that people were following. She was the very first character I ever encountered who was a really smart girl who was allowed to be smart just by herself. If anything, Virgie has sort of shown me that you can take on any responsibility, any task, any position without forsaking who you are. You just sort of forget all those things when you're so busy trying to be so professional. And what's the first book you remember really getting into and reading as a kid? Um, I would have to say um, The Lightning Thief. It's one of the first chapter books that I've read outside of my mom's college books where the Margaret Peterson Haddocks is series. The sixth Harry Potter book, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Honestly, I remember reading the Magic Treehouse series when I was a little kid. The way that they wrote these characters going on such crazy adventures while also learning about history. It was so enveloping and I could not put it down until I finished it. And why do you think studying literature bonds women together? Women in media were typically damsels in distress. Especially the movement of feminism. It helps give voices to those who haven't been heard for like hundreds of years. Because it helps us to understand that our voices were not always heard in the way that they deserve to be heard. And the time when this was released, that was unheard of. So when women study literature, we pay attention to everyone's voices and we hear them loud and clear. A woman who doesn't sacrifice her womanhood to fit into a man's world. And can you describe a hard time in your life um, where reading helped you get through? My entire child. <laughs> As a kid, I'm pretty sure like maybe any other English major, maybe not, but <laughs> I was in high school, I wasn't making a lot of friends. Then I spent the time um, in the library and I would always carry like two or three books at a time while I'm in class. I sort of felt like there was nobody I could turn to. And in seventh grade I was being bullied a lot in school and books were pretty much my only friend when I attempted suicide for the first time when I was 12. And I called my mom right after because I was so scared that I had done that and it didn't, it was just a very shocking thing. Um, and she told me to just sit in a chair in the living room and don't move, don't do anything until she got home. And I felt so terrible and guilty and horrible that I would do that to myself or to my parents. And um, I picked up a book and it was my escape. I felt less awful. It reminded me that right now I might feel like my life is horrible and right now I might feel like I have no place, I have no purpose, but when I read this story it makes me think, it makes me believe that, you know, someday I'm gonna find friends who care about me and I am gonna find a place where I feel like I belong and I'm gonna find a place where I get to go on adventures that I dream about and I feel loved and I feel, I feel like I have a purpose and that maybe my story